Passa no card. Nice, good job, man. Here to talk to you a little bit about Shape Arcade today. Uh, it's a love letter to my memories of growing up playing arcade games uh, when I was a kid. Uh, I grew up in the late 80s, early 90s in the United States, and there was a big part of my childhood uh, that was built around this arcade culture where I would meet friends after playing baseball practice or after school, or at, I mean, I played a lot of Street Fighter at the, uh, at the pizza parlor kind of thing. Um, and uh, this is me being able to revisit that uh, with some of the things that I've been learning this year. Uh, so Shape Arcade is uh, a student project built in open frameworks uh, using some of the skills that we've been learning uh, and applying those uh, to making a game uh, that I wanted to make compelling. All right, so I, I don't have the full cabinet with me. I'll show that in the rest of the video, but here's one of the first prototype versions. Uh, this is actually a Nintendo Switch uh, cabinet that I got off of Amazon, so you can put that in there. But what I've done is I've added two little potentiometers, which you can turn. And this was the very, very first version of a built version of the, uh, the game cabinet. Uh, essentially, the assignment itself, we were given the task to build something with uni unimodal interaction, meaning one thing that you can interact with the game with. Uh, and in this case, what I chose to do was a sensor, one type of sensor connected to an Arduino, uh, which is a little microcontroller uh, that can send information to and from a computer. And in this case, these little dials are what are called potentiometers that uh, read the variation in resistance as you're changing that dial. And so these dials are going to be how you control the game. The game itself is very much inspired by games like Geometry Wars for the very bright and colorful uh, shapes uh, that uh, sort of explode as you, you go through. And Geometry Wars is a much more recent game uh, that is a reinterpretation of a lot of the games from the early arcade era. So I wanted to sort of evoke that newness and 